So I'm here today with Becky Fox, who is a science teacher, blogger, outdoor educator, surf instructor, and a master student in sustainable development. Hi, Becky. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi. Hi, no worries. <laughs> um, so first things first, what inspired you to start blogging and living a sustainable lifestyle? I think because I was living an active lifestyle and I felt like if, I think we started traveling a lot and then within that we started to see the consequences of not living a more sustainable lifestyle. You know, we were lucky enough to go and live in the Maldives for about a year. And you see in the Maldives, you see these white sandy beaches and the clean water. And then while we were there, every day you get the smell of burning plastic. And every day there's plastic on the beaches that the um, cleaners are coming and cleaning up. And then you think, oh my God, like, okay, at home, maybe there's plastic on the floor if people aren't recycling it. But you need to think of if it's getting to all these kind of really little parts of the world. Um, and I just thought, okay, well, what can I do um, to just reduce my impact? So then I just started to do, you know, the obvious things that I could. I started to use um, deodorant bars instead of actual deodorant or shampoo bars or, you know, just the little things um, like that. And then just over time, it's just um, developed into something a bit bigger. Um, and I think as well, it's kind of getting rid of this perception that living sustainably is hard work. You know, I mean, obviously it requires some it requires effort you know given however you have managed to make it an integral part of your lifestyle while still doing the other things that you love you know um learning surf instructors uh, blogging everything so can you tell us about how you've done that so i think that i look at it as a really important part of my life because it's funny actually because some people might look at it as a very selfless thing to do, you know, to care about the environment and to care about society. And in a way, I guess it is. But at the same time, there's a real benefit mentally in your own well-being to focus on these things, to go and volunteer for social issues, to do stuff like go and pick up plastic or do a beach cleanup. Um, actually, for my own well-being, it's... It, it's really fulfilling so it's kind of funny it's almost like a selfish reason and that's I think why it's kind of taken over and snowballed so much because there's such a positive um, feedback to it so it doesn't become difficult and then if you just start buying different things it's actually easier and it's actually cheaper because our shower is empty it has like a shampoo bar a conditioner bar and nothing else it's simple I don't have to choose what flavors I want or smells when I go to the shops um, for shower gel or hair gel or whatever, you know, it's just like two things, it's really easy and it just makes, um, yeah, it makes everything a little bit more simple. Oh, awesome. And so do you have any other tips for uh, living a more sustainable life? You know, whether it is buying those shampoo bars or uh, anything else on a bigger scale? First of all, we just try and buy and buy less um, and buy smart. So it's just what you are buying it. So for your environmental and also then that helps push other companies and it forces the market to respond to our demands. So if we're saying, hey, we're not going to buy that stuff anymore because it's, it's bad for the planet, but also where those things are coming from, you know, what factories are they coming from? What are the conditions like? Um, so there's a lot of other stuff. So buy, buy less and buy smart. And then look at a social issue that you can get involved in, especially in your, if it's, you know, maybe you can sponsor education of children in Africa, but you can also look at your own community and just think, well, are there people in my community that perhaps can't care about the environment right now because they have much bigger issues? Maybe they're homeless. Maybe they don't um, have a job or something. And then just see what you can do just to help. Just just start there almost. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Becky. Uh, those were some, some amazing answers. Thank you. Thank you for watching Rising Earth News. Don't forget to subscribe and follow our socials for your daily dose of positive eco news. Stay safe, stay green and be a part of the Age of Restoration.